as the climate changes and as nutrition needs increase, especially in the sub-Saharan Africa, vitamin A-rich orange-fleshed sweet potato offers this part of the world a timely and resounding answer. What we are doing, uh, we are working right now with the International Potato Center to try and sensitize the farmer about uh, planting certified plant materials. Using quality planting materials ensures higher yields of root for consumption and marketing. But although this is the case, timely access to clean and quality sweet potato vines by farmers has remained elusive. We have a project right now with the International Potato Center mm -hmm. whereby we are cleaning up these materials, multiplying them and also training the farmers to produce uh, clean plant materials. The Sweet Potato Project with International Potato Center, the Sasha Project, Phase mm -hmm. 2 of the Sasha Project, mm -hmm. it started in 2014. We identified farmer preferred varieties, initiated them in the tissue culture where we do virus cleaning and multiplication and distribute them back to farmers. The Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service, KEFIS, walks you behind the scenes to help you appreciate the rigorous process that takes place in pursuit of producing clean, orange-fleshed sweet potato vines in order to benefit Kenyan farmers. We receive materials from more than 11 countries across Sub-Saharan Africa, especially for sweet potato and Irish potato. We have a germ plasm collection in our tissue culture laboratory. We have the gene bank for Sub-Saharan Africa for sweet potato and Irish germ plasm. These materials, when they are in our station, we are able to ensure that we do the virus indexing and clean up. Materials that have been indexed and found to be infected, they undergo the process of thermotherapy and meristem tip culture. Here in thermotherapy, we subject them to high temperatures in this uh, thermotherapy chamber and humidity, and then after that, we excise the meristem, which is the tip where the virus is not there, and then we are able now from there to multiply those materials, and then we initiate them in the tissue culture, and also multiply to ensure farmers get materials that are clean. The newly bred variety plantlets undergo laboratory processes to diagnose and then clean up the diseases. This is followed by testing to confirm that the planting material is clean. We have uh, many viruses and sweet potato production is affected by viruses. We're trying to come up with methods that can hasten the process of uh, delivery of, of seed systems to our farmers. This ISO accredited process may take from six months to one year. Pathogen-tested tissue culture plantlets are then micro-propagated in laboratory jars or test tubes using a special nutrient media in sterile, temperature and light-controlled conditions. Then these materials, once they undergo virus cleanup, we multiply them in the greenhouse for further distribution to multipliers, again, which will distribute to, to root producers. The plantlets are then acclimatized by slowly adjusting temperature, light and humidity to be able to grow in ambient temperatures in soil, sand, and manure mix-in screen houses. After two to three months growing in the screen house, cuttings are harvested for sale to seed multipliers. What uh, you are seeing now is a nursery. Down here you cannot get tubers because these are nurseries whereby uh, we are supposed to have just the vines. So after having these vines, uh, we shall distribute them to our farmers. We got from KFIS this size of uh, planting material. Now we are multiplying it so that uh, as we sell to farmers, as you know, it is at least one foot long. Breeders strive to breed varieties that are high yielding, resistant to diseases and high in micronutrients for different end users. So by the time the material is leaving the station, it is clean with disease free. The orange fleshed sweet potato varieties are rich in beta keratin in our bodies this is transformed into vitamin A, essential for eyesight, healthy skin and growth, especially for expectant mothers 
and young children. One of the things that uh, really uh, made us worry as a county is when the report came out that uh, uh, there is a uh, standard growth uh, among the children in El Gio Maracuet. One of the groups that was identified to solve this challenge was the orange fresh uh, sweet potatoes. And uh, when they brought, we sat down with the, together with the agriculture team. And uh, through the Enrich program and other programs, we decided that we are going to champion for this. And um, so far, I think uh, the uptake is uh, encouraging. And we realized that the orange flesh with potato would be a supplement in itself because farmers would be able to grow. And the discussion is we're encouraging our farmers to grow the orange flesh with potato. And before they sell, they, they eat fast because we would want to encourage the households to eat this uh, orange uh, flesh with potato as a supplement for them and their children. To retrainiwa, mambo ya iva viazi, viazi tamu, to kachukua masomo uko. So, kufikia hapa mahali penye nimefika sasa, naona watu, watoto wangu sasa wata kuwa na nja. Maana, hizi mbegu sili sinasapua. It is stories and scenes like this one and this one that help tell the joy of the tedious process of coming up with a clean seed. The smiles on the faces of these families. This orange sweet potato is smart for the na wa mama na inapea wazi ngufu. Sasa sisi tunakula kwa jamii yeah. na si pia tunaweza uza kwa masoko. For more information and enquiries, simply log on to www.kefis.org or www.sweetpotatoknowledge.org or www.cipotato.org.